It was a tired day for all the officers. Suddenly, their office phone rang. It was a call from one of the villagers who lived in a border village. Officers heard that an elephant was fallen on a maize field without having food or water. Momentarily, officers rushed off to the place. At a glance, they could see a leaned, weakened elephant. Vets felt so sorry for him. They assumed that he might have been starving for days. On the other hand, officers could see the huge damage caused to the maize field. Even though the elephant has ruined their whole cultivation, the villagers still need to rescue him. Earlier, villagers have tried to feed him, but he hadn't made any movements. Then the officers began to examine what had happened to this poor elephant. At first, the vets examined whether he was trapped by a jaw bomb. Then they looked for gunshots, but no clue was found. The poor animal was emaciated. The vets diagnosed that the elephant might have been suffering from some ailment related to digestive system. As they couldn't find any injury in the jaw area caused by a jaw-exploding trap, they confirmed that the root cause must be indigestion. However, before treating the indigestion, they realized the elephant should be boosted up, since he was severely weakened. For that, he was given about 15 saline bottles into his ear vein. Along with the saline, he was given some other multivitamins to uplift him. Antibiotics were injected intramuscularly. Thus, along with the antibiotics, he was given medicines relevant to parasite infections such as ivermectin. All these drugs are given according to the body weight of the elephant. Antibiotics will enhance resilience within the elephant's body to fight against infections that led to indigestion. By the time the saline was assimilated, vets noticed some slight movements from him. The vets applied the antibiotic spray on the external wounds too.
After finishing the initial treatments, they began to inspect the digestive tract. They wanted to make sure whether anything was clogged in his rectum. Thus, the lady vet put her hand inside the anus and examined. She got some fecal matter out. They were hardened like stones. It implied that the elephant's body was dehydrated since he refused to drink water. Ultimately, vets diagnosed that the elephant had an indigestion and fecal were gathered inside the anus due to constipation. The rectum was infected and swollen, but the vets had already given the necessary medicine for it. Another officer accompanied to clean the anus thoroughly. Officers could see maggots coming out from the rectum. During this type of treatment, usually elephants become aggressive, but the appalling pain kept him silent. The vets decided to do an enema in order to remove any fecal blocked inside the bowels. For that, the vets use a lubricant agent. They take a funnel, add some lubricants into it, and then with the help of a tube that is connected to the funnel, vets inserted the lubricant into the rectum. With that, they could remove most of the feces blocked inside. Suddenly, it began to rain, but the courageous vets didn't give up and continued the operations. After giving the enema, the elephant got a huge relief. Gradually, he tried to stand up on his own, and officers, as well as the villagers, supported him take strength. Oh, 
But the elephant couldn't stand in the first attempt, because he was suffering from this condition for a longer time, and he's still gaining energy. The undulated nature of the land and the thick tree cover made it difficult to bring a JCB machine to provide external support to the elephant. However, there's a noticeable progress in his condition. The elephant could raise his head and stay in a sitting position. They've injected necessary medicines to heal the indigestion. The elephant will soon be recovered gradually. Since it was getting darker, they had to finish the operation for that day. The team will monitor the elephant continuously and will give the follow-up treatments in due course. Till then, they appointed an officer to look after him. Here, officers did a great job in order to rescue the elephant. Hats off to the entire team for saving another life. On the other hand, we should thank the villagers too. This particular incident is contrary with the frequent situation which is known as human-elephant conflicts. The mutual understanding laid the path to save the life of another creature.